Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a solo playthrough of Sleeping Gods. In a previous video, I went through the tutorial sort of mission, and at the end of that we got a few things. We have some cards here that we can use. We have three money, a wheat, one command token, one ability card, and these two missions. One of the missions is Anne's Cottage. Mac is on her way to search the cottage of an old treasure hunter named Anne. Perhaps something there will help us get home. The cottage is near a bridge north of the trading post. It's probably right there at 34. But Captain Sophie Odessa, when she heard about this raid on Last Hope, she immediately knew what she needed to do. It says, Mac told us a rumor about rat creatures attacking a fishing village northeast of the trading post. The village may not survive the attacks much longer and needs urgent help. That is all Captain Sophie Odessa needed. Things are really weird. They've been transported to this land. They don't quite know what's going on. But as soon as she heard that there were people in trouble, she knew she was going to make a beeline for that to try to save them. So that's the plan. We're going to head over there. And it's got to be talking about 63 up there, that little village. It's going to be important to try to gear up so that when we get there, we have a lot of uh, strength so that we can uh, get things done. And part of doing that is going to be to assign some of these ability cards to our various different characters here. And with that in mind, before we even start any sort of ship action or anything, I want to use Gloria Walker here. We have one command token, so it costs one. And she's going to let us just draw two ability cards. We can hold three max. Okay, we got... Focus, and we got Rapid Strike to go with our Rage. Now, to assign any of these, it, it looks like it's going to cost two command. Let's take a closer look at these cards. Ooh, Rapid Strike is great. Even if this crew member misses, they deal damage first. That's really cool. And with Focus, you can discard that once it's equipped in order to gain three accuracy on, on a shot. Okay, that could be super useful in combat. And then we also have Rage, which is very interesting. It says this crew member can place damage diagonally, which is really neat, but they may not participate in challenges as long as that's uh, equipped to them. So that's a little strange. Well, let's go ahead and take our first ship action here. We can go anywhere. I think I want to go to the quarters. We have three actions that we can take there, and we can do them in any order, and that's going to be very important. The first thing I want to do is to remove two command tokens from cards. So we can go ahead and remove that from Gloria so we can use her again. As long as that command token was on her, we wouldn't be able to use her. But we've cleared that off so we can use her again. Because we're playing a solo game, we're going to get that top number. We're going to get three command tokens, and I'll just put them right here. And now that we have enough command to attach one of these to somebody, I think that we should. So this is a tough decision here. I like the idea of giving focus to Kasumi. She does quite a lot of damage. You know, it might also be nice to give focus to, uh, to Sophie as well. Kasumi can actually discard this to get an extra hit. Probably wouldn't do that. Probably would discard it for uh, the accuracy. But I'm also kind of interested in this rage and giving that over there to Raphael. I don't think he's going to be participating in too many challenges, and he has some nice accuracy. Yeah, okay, I tell you what, we're going to spend two of these command, and we're going to attach rage to Raphael. He can now hit diagonally. That's going to be, that's going to be useful for us. And now we have room to do the final action here, draw another ability card. Ooh, Inspire can spend a command token to remove a, a, a morale, a low morale. But here we go. Let's move on to step two, where we draw the first event and resolve it. Ooh, Ghostly Visitor. 
A chill air fills the ship as an ethereal woman walks the deck. Convince the ghost to leave the ship. It's going to take a savvy five. And if we fail, we gain one frightened. Savvy is the blue anchor symbol. Savvy of five. I'm not sure that we want to um, use an exhaust for, for this particular thing here. So we're just going to flip and see what we get. Ooh, we got a three. We failed that, so we're going to gain a Frightened token. We could discard this, actually. But that wouldn't get us there either. Let's just gain a Frightened token. I have these right here. A little chicken. And we can give it to any character, since none of them were involved. And they basically, they can't attack when they are frightened. Well, I tell you what, Audrey here... Definitely not sort of a combat-oriented character. So I think we'll have her be frightened for now. You can see here, Kanan can um, remove that at some point for two command if we need to. There we go. And then this goes away. Okay, that was the event phase. Now we get to take two actions. And our first action, I think, we want to travel. If we wanted to, we could put a fatigue token on a character to add a craft skill but I don't think we're going to do that I think we really only want to move one anyway so we draw this oh okay well we, we got a five so we could move two if we wanted we could go right up there I was kind of thinking we might want to gear up at this market first and then head up there but this would be our chance to just go right in yeah, I think so. We can we can handle a bunch of rats, right? That's no big deal. So let's move two. And now we've entered into this sort of rough, uh, rough terrain area there. We're going to need five strength or our ship is going to take a damage. I don't know. Again, I don't know that this is something I want to get a fatigue for. Let's just let's not fatigue anyone for this. Ooh, that's a four. We could spin this, but uh, yeah, we could spin that to not take the damage. Okay. Okay, and now for our second action, we're going to do an explore. And we're going to explore 63, which I hope is the uh, fishing village that is being attacked by these rats. In order to explore, we take this book and we go to passage uh, 63. So it says right here, if keyword raid, turn to 56. You spot a village on the coast, a small settlement nestled against a pine forest. Smoke billows from the roofs of a few of the huts and the wind carries with it a faint scream. A, do we watch from the safety of the ship? Or B, do we land at the town's pier? Well, that's easy. We are rushing in. Captain Sophie is not scared. So we are going to land at the town's pier. We're going to turn to 56.1, which is right here. Rats the size of humans. Oh, God. Their fur slick and oily run among the village huts, wielding savage tools. Some of the villagers fight the rats with wooden axes, while more rat creatures prance with glee near the village edge, lighting straw roofs with torches. So A, do we hurry to put out the fires, which would require a strength of seven? Or do we fight the rats in the village square? That's going to be a combat. And it says a combat level of 11. We'll get to that in a second. And then there is C, we can loot what we can in the chaos, which would be a perception of five. Wow. Okay, so let's look at how hard a level 11 combat is going to be. A combat of three to eight is very easy. A nine to 11 is considered easy. A 12 to 13 is considered medium. A 14 to 17 dangerous and an 18 to 22 deadly. This is an easy level of combat. And so, yeah, I think, I think we wanna fight these rats. That's what we're here for. It looks like we are gonna have a combat. We're gonna need cards 29, 30 and 31. 
They say you should shuffle these up and then put them out in a random order. Wow. And you place them next to each other like that. Oh, wow. Okay, combat time. I think what I'd like to do is not start with Raphael because I would like him to have get, get a synergy token. He has three accuracy and we have a five and two sixes on either side. So we probably want to attack the brawler and then we'll splash damage over. And ooh, this guy. The alchemist is kind of scary. Ooh, well, this is our first combat. <laughs> Let's try not to screw this up. Since he can do diagonal damage, it'd be great if we could get Raphael a little extra damage that he could deal out. This is two damage, but you can't use it on hearts. Wow, and the body, they're going to need two damage just there on the body alone. I like the idea of Mac going. She could definitely hit and do that two damage, but then she's really just getting on the body, or she could, she could hit like that. Then give the accuracy. Okay, I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to have Max start things out here. She's going to attack the Brawler. So pretty much anything will hit. Okay. She's doing two damage. Ooh, man, that's hard. If she goes like those two, then there's no more splash damage that's going to be able to go over. I think she'll take a little extra damage here, but she wants to splash over to this guy a little bit. So she's gonna take three damage. She has no defense. She covered up one of those synergy, so she can give this synergy token over. And we're gonna give it to Kasumi. Then we're gonna have Kasumi go next. She's getting plus two accuracy, so she's at four accuracy. And for one command, if we get a one, she can redo that. So I think maybe she goes after one of these harder folks here. She's doing three damage, so she could come across like that. Actually, for three damage, she could take out the stabber completely. and Maybe that would be worthwhile. Yeah. So right now she's at four. She's going after the stabber. Okay, so that's that's a hit. Yeah, she's going to do three damage. Two, three, and just take out the stabber. Nice. She used that. She could go again, or maybe we have Captain Sophie go now. Or maybe we just go ahead and let him go. The accuracy would be helpful, actually. He could do a diagonal hit right here. So actually getting him the accuracy and being able to do that would be very useful. Or if we could just do three damage again, we could just take out the brawler and just have the alchemist left and just deal with that. Hmm. That feels better, but if she misses, we're in trouble. Okay, it's dangerous, but I think we want Kasumi to go again. Because if she can hit, we can take out this brawler, and then this alchemist adjacent region won't happen. Because they'll both be they'll both be dead. We're gonna go there. She has a two accuracy. She needs a five. And we can, we can sort of reflip a one. So anything but a two is really what we're looking for. Yes, a five. Okay. So yeah, she's just going to do three damage. Two here, one there, and that's going to kill this brawler. Brawler doesn't get to respond. Lovely. But we also aren't synergizing too well here, but that's okay. The alchemist, man, yeah, he's going to hit for four. Four, unless we can take out this tail. We don't have to worry about the arms because the regen isn't going to do anything. Might be a moment for Raphael. Well, no, because we don't need the diagonal, do we? Who has good accuracy? Let's let Gregory go. Actually, Marco has a bunch of defense. So maybe he should go. Yeah, okay. We're going to have Marco go. 
because even if he misses, he'll be able to uh, not really take much damage. Okay, so that's just three, so he missed. He's taking four damage, but he has three defense, so he's only taking one. And then he missed, but he gets to put one out, and he'll put it right here. Maybe. Hmm, yeah, if you put it on the head... No, but this guy's about to attack, because it's the end of the round, so we're gonna cover that up. We're gonna cover up his tail, so he's only doing two damage. Okay, so now, at the end of the round, after all players have used their combat tokens, the enemies that haven't been defeated attack the crew. So two damage. She can't attack. So we're gonna give her those two. The damage from each enemy, you get to decide who is getting hit by the enemy here in this end phase, but all the damage from one enemy has to go to one character. You can't split up that damage. And you also don't apply the block that you get from the weapon. So she would take both of these two damage. She doesn't get to use that block. And that's it, and we go again. Okay, we're doing well. Now the problem with Mac here is she would get knocked unconscious if she got hit again. Maybe we want her to deliver the final blow I tell you what, I think we're going to have Raphael try to go. Because then we can do like a nice little diagonal thing like that. I think that would work out great. Although he's only getting two damage. Yeah, we want him to get an extra damage. So maybe Kasumi needs to go, but wow. She would need a four. But we could do that. Mm. This guy might end up being hard to hit. Ooh, but I like this guy's synergy ability. Could give that to Mac. Yeah, I think this is good. So we're going to have Gregory go. He's got a two, two accuracy with his knife. And a two is a four, so he missed. He's getting hit for two, no defense. And then he gets to put one out. He's going to put it on the head. Even though he missed, we put it on. I think he still gets to use the synergy. And we're gonna give that synergy to Mac. This synergy says that if you go to zero, you then pop back up to two health. So now Mac can go, although, ooh. The problem now, well, she's only doing two damage anyway. And so she just wants to get into that middle spot. But then we've created this really awkward situation, haven't we? Boy, we're probably not doing this in the smartest way. Mm, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so Max attacking has a four. Anything but a one. Boom. She's doing two damage. So right here gets that synergy. I think we want to give it to Captain Sophie Odessa here. If we give it to the captain, that gives her a three. He's already at a three. Or we just give it to Kasumi, and she guarantees to get three. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. And then Mac takes two damage. She falls to zero, and because of this, she gets to heal two. Now we'll have Kasumi go. She's at four accuracy. She can't really miss here. Three, perfect, seven. She hits. She's doing three damage. Oh, which doesn't, oh, we really messed this up, didn't we? Well, we're going one, two, three, because we can't go through these ones that we've already done. Ah, yeah, we messed that up a little bit. Because now we have two hearts there, and we're not going to be able to uh, do that. Well, okay. Well, let's just have Raphael go. Let's see if he can. Let's see if he can hit. Ooh, with a five. Yes, definitely hits. Fortunately, only doing two damage. So one, and he can go diagonal. So two. He gets hit for two back. And oh, Kasumi should have gotten hit for two as well. Man, this is this is a bloody battle. 
And now we're at the end, so someone else is going to get hit for two. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just going to put it on Audrey for now. <laughs> She's fine. And we're going to go again. So if we miss, they're going to get hit for two. So Marco should go because he won't take any damage because he's got that three defense. So a two, he misses, gets hit for two, but blocks two of it and then gets to do one back, and the rat is finally dead. Okay, so that was uh, not the most competently done, but hey, we did it. We did it. That's what's important. Combat is over. We put these back in numerical order, and we read on. <laughs>